Hello! Welcome to the Eurolean Plus Overview Lecture on CONWIP, Constant Work in Process Production Control. The learning objectives of this lecture are to describe the origins of CONWIP, understand the basic principles of CONWIP, and understand key aspects of CONWIP implementation. Let's start with an introduction. CONWIP was defined in 1990 by Spearman, Woodruff, and Hopp. It is an alternative pull-based system to Kanban, and it is generally associated with controlling production lines and flow shops, but it can also be applied to job shops with complex material flow. The objective of CONWIP is to maintain the WIP, or work in process, in a production system at a constant level. So, imagine we have a production system which includes three stations, drilling, grinding, and polishing. If we imagine a snapshot of the system during operation, it might look like this. On the left side is the backlog list of products waiting to be started on. On the right are finished goods, and in the middle are the products being processed. The corresponding CONWIP cards are attached to the products, as denoted by the black outlines. So, as we can see, there are a total of four CONWIP cards in this production system. Three are being worked on, and one was completed recently. Now, imagine that the green star product is consumed. The CONWIP card is detached from the Green Star product and sent to be attached to a product on the backlog list. Once the other products are completed at their current stations, the next product can move into the system. The products will then move through the system and eventually arrive in finished goods. As a new product is consumed, the process starts over again. So, we can describe this simple system as card-based because the cards are attached directly to the products being produced and consumed, and pull-based because production is only initiated as products are being consumed by actual demand. Although it is worth noting that there is a push system between the processing steps within the CONWIP system. Now, imagine the throughput time for purple products is one hour, whereas the throughput time for the other two products is just 15 minutes. If the orange product isn't actually demanded by the customer at this point in time, it will move into finished goods. This releases the CONWIP card for the next product in the backlog list. But if the product that is most required by the customer is the Green Star product, this product will arrive quite late because the system follows the backlog list, and it is also designed to respect the first-in-system, first-served principle. In addition, we see that the purple product takes significantly more time in the system than the orange and green products, so the orange product moves into WIP inventory before the polishing station to wait for the purple product. This illustrates two things. One, the backlog list is extremely important to ensure meeting the demand of the customer. And as we can see, the green star product was not correctly prioritized to meet that demand. And two, products should have a similar processing time. If not, they should be produced in batches in order to ensure similar processing times for each CONWIP card. If this doesn't happen, then WIP inventory might be generated within the system. CONWIP has some distinct characteristics. The order release is based on a backlog list, and the backlog list is not defined by the CONWIP system, so it relies on personnel to define the priorities. The queue discipline within the production system is first in system, first served, so the order of the backlog list is very important to make sure that production meets demand. The number of cards can be calculated similar to Kanban, although it does require some adjustment and fine tuning. A later video in this series covers CONWIP card calculations. Finally, parts should have a standard amount of processing time. It may be necessary to produce the products with short processing times in batches to create a more stable workload. Thank you for watching this overview lecture on CONWIP, Constant Work in Process Production Control. If you would like to learn more about lean techniques for high variety, low volume manufacturing, visit euroleanplus.org to explore Eurolean's online master course and knowledge base.